Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to talk to you about how to work faster with explainer video templates. As you guys know, there are a bunch of toolkits out there, but they often take a lot of time to load, too difficult to work with, and takes a lot of time to render out. So here are some of the best workflow techniques on how to work faster with explainer video toolkits. In your project, there might be a lot of elements or backgrounds that are not necessarily animated. Inside these compositions, you will find a lot of pre-comps and inside these pre-comps, a lot of shapes. And this is what makes the project so hard to work with. So let's go ahead and render these out as images. The best way to do this is by pre-composing all the static elements inside a composition and revealing that in the project. Right click, go to create proxy and select still. Now you can export this as a PSD file or even open it up in Photoshop. Now let's go ahead and import this as our background and delete all the other compositions which had pre-comps and shapes. Another thing that pisses people off is after you customize your character, it's so hard to animate it. If you want to the layers and go into each parts of the character, you will find that the layers are still being used by After Effects. So if you're using Style 13, go ahead and open up the contents of each layer delete every layer except the number 13. Do this for all the layers and it becomes super easy to animate your character. The third tip is to reduce your project because you're not going to use every single item inside this template. So hold down control, select multiple compositions you wish to export and go to file, reduce project. CC 2017, it's file dependencies reduce project. Now create a new project and start by importing these reduce projects. This is gonna help you stay more organized. You can load the project quickly and render it even faster. So these are our top three tips on how to work faster with explainer templates. For more tips check out the description below or visit our blog. I've also added links to some of the templates that helped me get started in After Effects. Thanks for watching.